Spencer, an entertaining game. Your thoughts? That was two points dropped. Um, um, we're, we're in a little bit of a rut at the moment. You know, you can't complain when you can see three goals at home. The first one is very, very tight. Just looked at the tape. It's tight. I think he's just off, but it is tight, and we shouldn't be giving that opportunity. It was a lazy foul to give away the free kick. And um, we've got ourselves back into the game just before half time and just after, and you could really only see one winner. And then we've given away a very soft team goal to uh, to go behind again. Um, and from then on in, it's pretty much the Alamo. And we've just missed so many chances. On another day, we could have won by Hatful, but they're not a bad side. And um, of course, we're very disappointed to lose, to drop a second set of points at home. But there were some very hard things said at half time. Um, I'm not happy. I don't think the dressing room is massively happy. We, we've We've got a few lads, well, quite a few lads that are sort of underperforming at the moment. I think we got used to winning quite comfortably. But there's some big pluses on the day. I thought Perry Coles was outstanding. He took both goals really, really well. And, but there's also some very big negatives. We think Den Solly's broken a rib. He's going to be out for a month or more. So that's close to a footballing disaster here at, for us. Um, you know, we need the fans to come back. We've, we've stated what it is. We're, we're top of the league or were. Um, you know, but it's a strange league. I heard you know Kempston who were pushing us hard for 4-0 down and ended up drawing 4 all. So there's some there's some crazy stuff in this football, but we shouldn't be conceding three goals at home. And as much as we've looked very positive going forward, um, we, we've had a bad couple of weeks, really. So we've got to address that. We, we now leave the league for a, a couple of weeks with the FA Trophy coming up. Um, and we've got to focus on, 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 on going forward. You know, we haven't got beaten. Um, but we're disappointed, we're, we're angry, players coming and going, there's another two points drop, we shouldn't be dropping points like that, we've had some glorious chances, we've hit woodwork three or four times, but we've conceded three goals at home and that shouldn't be happening, so uh, put that with Dennis, um, and, you know, disappointing attendance, and it, it's not a great day for us, but we, we breathe again and, and go again, uh, obviously Tuesday night in the League Cup, which will be huge changes, almost unrecognisable, very low priority for us down at Fleet. Um, but more importantly, we've, we've got to come back here on Saturday uh, in the trophy and, and, and get a result because, you know, that's two home games we've dropped points. We were desperate to come back to back to, uh, to home territory. I mean, the supporters that were here were singing and driving us on. I mean, it was relentless, but just wouldn't go in to win it. But we, we should have won that game comfortably and, and we haven't, so we're, we're disappointed overall. That's four points dropped at home this week. How are you going to turn it around? I say I call it personal responsibility. That starts from me all the way through the players. You know, we, we've we've got players I don't think are are hitting the heights of early this season. Everyone's entitled to have a bad game. You know, there's a way we want to play. It certainly wasn't the way we played on Tuesday night. There were far too straight, long balls. That's not how we play. I thought in patches today we played much better football. We've obviously got some niggly injuries. It's there for all to see. And now you add a serious injury to, to Dennis that we fingers crossed. We miss Callum today. Who we wish best. He's got a a personal situation that we, we hope is okay. Um, you know, maybe we need to freshen up one or two, and not many. We, we've got a very subtle squad, and but we're not playing at the level I think we should be. You know, rightly we're favourites for this, and you know, but we, we, we can't take away from the fact that we could have scored ten goals here today. And um, but the finishing wasn't good enough at one end, and we've conceded three at the other end. Dubious or not, we have. And they're, they're poor goals to concede from my perspective. Um, but it's a team responsibility. You know, you've got Josh Huggins making a great run, but unfortunately just shooting wide in, in the dying seconds. Um, but you've also got the team that didn't defend properly the third goal, and that's not just the back four there. So it's a team responsibility, um, and we, you know, we look forward to the next game. You know, we're in the entertainment business. Certainly, no one can have any doubts. We're we're trying to entertain. We're trying to play football. We're trying to pass the ball with a tempo on the floor. Um, and I said, you've also got to give the opposition a go. They, they gave it a go. They had some pace. They, they caused us some threats. And I think they had maybe only four attempts in the first half and scored two of them, which is, is harsh on us. But, you know, we've set very high standards. And we will continue to do that. And we will be relentless um, in, in, in the desire to be towards the top of the table. Looking at positives, you mentioned Perry, goal. Perry Coles, who bagged two goals today. He's only going to get better, isn't he? I think he's already a very good player. Uh, he's somebody I've obviously been after for six months. I think he scored two today. I think he gives you energy. I think he's hungry, which is something that I'm very, very keen on. He's local. There's so many positives about Perry today. Um, I mean, we are generally a very local squad, which is what you know. We listen to the fans, what they wanted, that they can associate with, and we're a relatively subtle team. Saying that, I'm not going to make excuses about potentially changing one or two. You know, you're only as good as the, the next game, and you know, a few of us. 
you know, and we'll look back at the tape and people get emotional and, um, yeah. you know, during games and after games, and we look at the tape and look at it calmly and go, you know, people need to be playing better and, you know, we expect more of certain people. And I'm not talking one or two here. I just don't think we've been our greatest for the last couple of weeks. But again, you look back, we haven't got beat. We've scored three goals. We could have scored 12. Um, so I don't want to hang the players, but we also want to play the right way and, and to send a message, fellas, it's not good enough. And I, I said, I've been very encouraged that I walked into the dressing room and there's a couple of lads gutted saying it's not good enough. We shouldn't be dropping two points at home. And, and that's dead right. After Fleet Town, you're at home to Barstool. What are your thoughts going into that game? Nothing about them, but I was very impressed with Swindon. And I have to say they, they, they got uh, heavily beaten in the FA Cup today, so we certainly caught them on the on the wrong day. And again, we didn't play particularly well uh, up at Swindon. And you know that league showed us that there, there's no easy games. We've shown that here today. So uh, we've we've got to refocus. We've got to go and do a job at Fleet. As I said, we're going to make no apologies. I need to rest players. It's right at the bottom level of my responsibility in the League Cup. I doubt there'll be more than one or two first team players, if at all, playing in that game. And, you know, I don't want our fans to go there thinking, you know, they've been shortchanged by going there expecting the full first team. It will not be. And I have to be ruthless by resting players and, and, and players recovering because we're playing a lot of games. And, but it's the opportunity for squad players and academy players that we're so proud of our academy to, to play Fleet Side, who gave us a really good game here. So it'd be a tough, tough night, but, I'm, you know, we will go and try and win the game. Don't get me wrong, I want to win everything. And then we have to focus, as you say, on the trophy. And the trophy is vital. We need the income. You know, we're, we're, we're really gutted we made a mess of Swindon, although taking nothing away from them. And, um, you know, we need the fans to back us, you know, today's attendance. You know, we're very grateful for the ones that have come. We need, we need people to support this team. We, we, you know, we've been very open with what our position is. We'll only play at what we've got. And if we don't have much, then I'll be put in a difficult position. So, you know, we need everyone to support. There's loads of positivity about the club. It's, it, it's, it's really exciting place. And even today, you know, you've got to look back and say it was a very entertaining game with six goals and, and we could have won by a hatful and, and we're very disappointed and frustrated with officials again. I mean, the decision on Tuesday night, I mean, every time you watch it, you just want to cringe. I mean, there's just no way on earth that is a goal. Um, but we're in a little bit of a rut um, and I think that's good news because it, it shows how good we can be and we've already been and we will strive to get back to that level of performance as soon as possible and hopefully that will be next Saturday. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.